Hey Yaga, I'm Clay Yaga. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, let's just get into it, cause um, I've just been want I've just been wanting to play a Tetsu and Nomura game on this channel for, for the longest time, and um, I'm sort of uh, in a in a weird spot right now where I want to. There's so much I want to work on. There's so much I have to work on. There's so much going on, and uh. I think I, I think I just need some Tetsu and Amora in my life to uh, to get me by. And um, I don't know, man. I I've played this game a few times. I've never beaten it, but I've I, I've never even gotten to the third disc, which is I'm pretty sure the the open world part of this game. But anyways, I'm a huge fan of all the Tetsu and Amora games. Uh, or sorry, the Tetsu and Nomura directed Final Fantasies, and anyways, I'm just gonna focus on the game and nerd out at this point. I mean, just look at these character designs. Like, oh my god, I I gotta get better at drawing, man. Cause like that that guy, he looks so cool. And there's just freaking yeah, we got Saz and Lightning here. I might, uh, disable the... Eh, I don't really need to disable the... What are they called? Captions. Ah, dude, this is so cool. Can you imagine... I think, uh, if, if I were to, like, cast lightning, uh, in, in a movie, I think the only way... I think the only way it could possibly be done right is, uh... Yeah! Was, uh, ah, that kid made me happy. Uh, the only way it could be done right is, uh... Dude... It need to be a, a freaking cheesy as hell Mila Jolovich movie. Like, look at these, look at look at these moves and shit. Like, only Mila Jolovich could commit that hardcore to something. Good for them. Oh god, I am getting pumped up, dude. People, people shit talk this game, but like, I we're gonna take out of the factor gameplay, any of that stuff, and just what it is visually is just beautiful, and. Oh my god, it's fantastic. Look at these visuals. Look at this background. You cannot... I hate when people... I hate when people just... Poop all over something without understanding what it... Like, I don't even... I've been an animator for four years now. At this point. Uh, me recording it. Well, I mean, I've been an animator for a while. I've been... I've been animating... Uh, hard... I would say for for about four years at this point, and and I've learned a lot about 3D. I've learned a lot about 2D. I've learned a lot about things, and just just the. I can't even imagine all of the work that goes into just just like that single shot. Every every shot in this kind of stuff, dude. Like it's crazy to me. These cutscenes are fucking beautiful. My God, look at this, dude. Anyways, this is going to be a bit more chill of a gameplay. I'm not going to try to keep my... Um, I'm good at rambling. I'm good at rambling all day. And, and I'll do that, I guess, as much as I can. But at the same time, if I'm just lost in the moment, dude, like, just be lost in the moment with me because these types of games are amazing. I'd love to play... I mean, the reason I'm playing 13 is because I haven't beaten it. Um, I haven't beaten a few of the other ones, too, but I would say this is the one that I've neglected the most in the past, and I know that 2 is really awesome and 3 is really awesome, and I think in the past, it it was never the gameplay that got to me. In the past, like, I had a pattern with, like, all video games I played where I'd pick them up really hard for, like, a week or two, and then I'd immediately, um... I would just, like, get distracted by something else, and then fall out of it, and by the time I went back to play it, I feel like, um, I'd need to, uh, restart it, basically, to, to, like, go back to where I was. So I skipped this tutorial, 
right here because I've played this a few times and I, I just want to make a huge point really quick um, about my argument about the gameplay of this game because a lot of people argue that like the, the the fighting and stuff like that is too easy because of the whole auto battle system and stuff like that but I do want to point out that I don't want to spoil anybody for, who's tuning in um, for the first time but there is there is a system of changing basically your class later in the system in the game it'll it'll probably pop up soon and um it's uh the reason the game ah oh, dude i'm fucking ah oh, dude oh my god dude how do they f i'm sorry i i need to i'm gonna get good at blender and shit i'm gonna get good at, at oh my god i want to create stuff like this this is giving me like like monty oom vibes oh yeah i forgot he has a little chocolate ball in his hair is look at the cute chocobos. Ah, it's a little choco chick. Anyways, the what I was saying with the, the fighting system is uh, the whole auto battle system is good because basically, you know how in other Final Fantasies you're like switching your uh, um, abilities so that like you have like, oh, I'm gonna cast a spell now, I'm gonna do this other thing now. Basically, that menu is replaced by the auto battle system but then the paradigm or paradigm the paradigm system is what comes in handy with that stuff so basically when you want to cast certain spells you switch your paradigm instead and that's that's what's changing it so it's auto battle i think was was a bad way of phrasing what you're actually doing it should have just said like uh basic attack or something like that do i have like oh i, I got blitz oh I'm gonna do some potions. Yeah, I got potions. Of course we got potions. We just freaking decided to jump into here and scale this whole place. Oh, dude, I got six potions from that dude. This giant mech is just carrying potions. I wonder why. Outies, bro. Dude, lightning's a, lightning's a babe. She is the kind of woman I want in my life. Oh goodness. We did it. Yeah, we did. We we beat a giant mech with a sword like a boss. Is like a boss still relevant? Am I old yet? I'm <laughs> I can't wait till like like I'm old I wanna be like super old. But like hip, you know what I mean. But like I have like what do you think 80 doing? years of being hip, so I'm like, what's good with the hip kids, yo? You know. And then like, but like I'm making references from like multiple decades. So like, it's I would be like, um, there's the old guy in Beyblade, uh, Tyson's Tyson's grandfather in Beyblade, um, is actually like that. He he makes all these. He, he's just like. I wouldn't say tries too hard. He's like the hippest character in that show. It just comes off weird because he's like an old guy. But he's like super good at being hip. Um, do we want... Yes, change it. No. I want standard. Yes. That's what I want. That sounds about right. Cool menus. Sure we can get here. Yeah, that feels right. All right, so we are currently in the middle of this whole thing. How do I access this to a triangle? Yeah. Wait. I don't. I'm using a controller. This isn't telling me. Can I just? Ah, uh, okay. So we'll save here, and then I'm oh, speaking of saves, dude. Did uh, d tell me, tell me down in the comments if uh, if, if y'all ever had like the um, the beautiful, you know, uh, commentary with your your parents when you were a kid, where it's like, oh, oh shit, I didn't even realize those were enemies. Of why wouldn't they be enemies? Everybody's an enemy right now. I should have blitzed. Oh, it's okay, I got him. Um, 
Yeah, I see. I like this system because it builds off of like Final Fantasy X and uh, X2, where it's kind of like oh, well, and 12, but it goes back to like the turn-based thing, but it's still like live, uh, life, life, ongoing times. What the fuck? Yeah, what is that? It is the hula hoop of death, is what I'm going to call that. Don't touch it. Even though, I don't know, it might be like a portal or something. Whoa, explosions. Yeah, c keep up, man. I'm outies. Uh, oh, fucking triple flip. Just a, just a, just, just a show off there. Anyways, did you ever have the uh, commentary with your parents where you're just like, Oh, I just gotta get to the next save, mom. And then she's like, fine, we'll let you, you just get to the next save and then you gotta go to sleep. And then you get to the next save and then you keep playing so that when your mom came back, right, you'd just be like, Oh, I just gotta get to the next save, mom. It's, it's less effective, um, it's less effective in a game like this where there's, like, a save around every corner, right? And or, like, most games nowadays, I would say, have, like, autosave features. So, like, it, you can't really get away with that anymore. But, like, you know, back in the days of the, like, FF7s uh, and stuff like that, when I was playing them, uh, and I was a child, uh, saves weren't... They were sparse enough that if you died at any given moment, you might be losing some, some data, unless you're, like, in the open world aspect where you can save wherever. Um, but, like, in, like, you know, story-driven parts, they're sparse enough that it can be an issue. Uh, but, um, yeah, I used to, I used to, <laughs> I used to cheat out my, my dad and my stepmom, or my, not, well, yeah, I guess my stepmom, too. I don't know, it was probably around the same time. What is this? It's an item orb. Gimme stuff. Yeah, it says, I don't think anybody likes things trying to kill them. I mean... <laughs> insert, like, what's up, danger? Uh... Freaking, uh, I had this idea of making a bunch of memes with that song. Or <laughs> just, like, someone does something really stupid low-key. Ah, dude, I love the guns. I love the guns in this. They're, like, super big and flat. They look cool as hell. Sounded too bad. This place ain't exactly paradise. Domesticated peacekeepers. Nothing to worry They're about. domesticated. Maybe not. Oh yeah, I guess there would be wild ones. I thought those were like constructs or something. But I guess not. I guess they're just a uh, crazy beasts. Ah, dude. Yep. Uh, Blitz might not have been the best plan. Yeah, attack. Um, well, I just took out the guard like it was nothing times. Oh, I'm about to break him. Yeah, he's be staggered. Boom. So, for those of you who don't know, when you stagger someone in this game, which is that little bar up there at the right, um, when you when you get a stagger in on someone, you can, um, you basically every damage you do when they're staggered is crits. Um, see, what I'm talking about with the save, there's one right here. Oh, I guess I'm just going straight. I should go back and check out that little area right there. I'm just going to save at every given moment because, uh, this is a, I'm doing the, I'm on the PC version of this game, and, um, I don't know how that's, like, it, like, warned me when I booted it up that, uh, it might be a little flaky. But I don't, I don't know if that's. It doesn't seem like it's. I'm having any problems now. I'm not getting wood or hit. Uh, but you know, you never know. That might be. Oh, these this dude's got a jetpack. Yo, get fucking. Oh, that's not gonna go good. Yeah, just get him. Uh. But yeah, you never know how this is going to go. My PC seems to run stuff pretty okay uh, for the most part, but just want to play it on the safe side so I don't necessarily lose a lot of progress or anything like that.